Yo! <laughs> What's going on guys? So I know it's been a while, but uh, back here with a video talking about the G. So I've had this car about, I've had it since January, so was that four or five, four months now? And I gotta say, I love it. Uh, not too much different than my old car. Um, really the main difference is it has four doors. So that's the reason I bought it. But today I'm gonna be just talking a little bit about why it's the best, say sports car, you know, sporty car for like five grand. I got it for like a little over five grand. And I thought, yeah, that's, yeah, that's a really good deal for this car. So starting off, I'm gonna talk a little bit about the performance. Uh, this car has about 300 horsepower, I wanna say. Yeah, about 300. Um, it's got a six speed manual. Uh, yeah. That's the main reason I got it. And you know, unfortunately a lot of cars aren't offering a manual uh, in this price range that are worth the crap. Um, you know, the only other competitors I would say is maybe a three older three series, but you're gonna be dealing with a lot of maintenance and uh, reliability issues with this car. It's uh, rock solid. Um, these, these engines are known to be very reliable. Some of the years they uh, burn a little extra oil, but I've had no uh, oil burning issues with this car. I will say though, walk around the car. I mean, I think it's a pretty presentable car, but the front end to me, not the best looking. It's not the best looking car for five grand or best in the car at all, but it gets the job done. It's pretty quick. I think zero 060 maybe six seconds, but it's rear wheel drive. You're not gonna get that with a Civic Si or Civic Si is probably way more than five grand. Um, I'm trying to think what you can even buy for five grand. Not much. And yeah, this thing does what a lot of $10,000 or $15,000 cars do with a cheaper price. Um, super reliable. Pretty sporty. You know, got the got leather seats. I will say though, one, one big con I've had with this vehicle is um, the seats have gone out on me. So, I mean, the passenger seat doesn't go forwards or backwards and now the driver is not one to tilt so I mean those are kind of annoying and now I'm having a little bit of issue with the clutch pedal I think it's just an adjustment I'm gonna take it to the shop this week so those are just some of the issues you know um, the seats uh, some of the earlier years the windows and then a little bit of uh, some of the some models and just I'm not sure exactly but you'll have to look into it if you're looking at buying one of these is they burn oil sometimes but I mean you can always just put more oil in you just have to um, pay attention to it but other than that this car has been nothing but great um, I love it it's super fun sounds pretty decent um, I haven't put exhaust on it yet I'm thinking about straight piping it but if you have any other advice let me know I'm trying to decide if I just want to do a muffler delete or muffler and a resonator I just I'm kind of nervous that the resonator might I make it too loud I take that out uh, I might tint the windows I don't know guys give me some uh, recommendations maybe we lower it I don't think I'm gonna do that though because I'm gonna have to get spacers and then camber kits and more money that I want that I want to spend on this car I just I enjoy it the way this car is uh, just stock maybe just put an exhaust on my old one if you look at my other videos uh, I had two-door coupe and I had it straight piped. I thought it sounded pretty good but I think the coupe has a different resonator so it's a little bit uh makes a little more noise um, but with this you get a bigger trunk I um, mean fit plenty of stuff in here um, I'm not sure I th yeah the seats fold down pretty sure never done it I think they do it looks like they do um, pretty good space in the back granted my seats messed up it won't lean back up so there usually would be more space but you can kind of see over there pretty decent like room um, unfortunately like I said the seats are broken that's about it for this video though uh, just just want to talk a little bit about this car um, and just show what it looks like on camera and uh, I started making a lot of videos um, I have a little more time during the summer uh, I was in school uh, the past semesters like the, during the school so I haven't had time but I plan on making a lot more 
So if you enjoyed this video, please smash that thumbs up and uh, subscribe. Please leave comments. I enjoy talking with y'all. And, uh, you know, shoot some recommendations of what you want me to talk about with these cars. or something you want to know. Um, if you want to do, me, do some driving videos, if you think I should straight pipe it. If I get, like, say, 100, 200 likes. 100, let's see. That's fair. 150 likes, I will straight pipe this thing. Not straight pipe, straight pipe, but muffler delete and possibly resonator. If I get a thousand, if I get a thousand likes, I would definitely do a resonator delete uh, just for y'all. But that's not a lot to ask for. So y'all make it happen, I'll make it happen. <laughs> All right, guys, y'all have a good one.